Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. And today I thought I would do my Christmas gift ideas. Now I started making this list on Tuesday, November 17th and I have it here in my notebook. And I kind of, I, I admit, I dropped the ball even though in my head I've been trying to think of some different things. The thing is, I feel like I've already told you my ideas so many times in videos past but i realized there are some people that are new here so i thought i would just go over my list you have to keep in mind too that like i haven't done like office gifts and you know extended family gifts in quite a long time my mother and father-in-law have both passed away my sister john's sisters his brother passed away and both his sisters live, you know, kind of a long ways in different states. So we do not see them like we used to and I miss it so much. That's the worst thing about when the grandparents pass away. It just seems like the rest of the family kind of breaks apart and I hate that because it's kind of like the mom and dad bring everybody together. So I'm hoping that we are going to get to see them this summer. I will say my mother-in-law was actually like the age of my grandparents because John's oldest sister is my mom's age. And so when I would get her gifts, I would focus on, you know, she didn't leave the house a lot. So I would always get her like her favorite color was blue and I would really, really try to gear everything towards, you know, something blue. And then I would try to get her um, nice, cozy, like really nice pillows. It could be a bed pillow. It could be a really fuzzy throw pillow. It could be just a little um, throw to put on her lap while she was sitting down. I would get her new lipsticks because she would just get, you know, inexpensive lipsticks or whatever. And I would buy her like a really nice lipstick, maybe like a Chanel lipstick or something like that. Just something kind of special. I would always, she always had her nails painted and I knew what kind of color she liked. So I would get her like a different mauve nail polish. And to be honest, I would take her something every time we went because I just think that's what you do. Really when it's, you know, a mother and father-in-law or your grandparents really do those little personal things, their favorite candy. You know, one time, this is so funny, we got her one of those picture frames that you loaded the pictures and the pictures just changed, changed, changed. And this is when my father-in-law had already passed away and my sister-in-law was living with her to help take care of her. And she said that when we left, she asked her, how can I make that stop and just stay on one picture? <laughs> so a lot of times like new things just don't work, you know, but it's the thought. They always love, like my grandmother loved shells. So, you know, and, and we would overdo it you know she had things she didn't use but let's face it most of the time gifts are not something that someone can use so and then that goes into another subject because I that's my favorite gift is something someone can really use but, and then teacher gifts okay I my sister-in-law was a teacher and she would bring the things that she would get over to my mother-in-law's house to give everyone and I'm telling you they get so much bubble bath, um, hand wash, this, that. I really think the best thing you can give a teacher is cash, a gift card, even if it's a $15 gift card to Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts. And I always put mine in a card or something like, I mean, she would get bunches of sunscreen, I mean, coffee mugs, she didn't even have a place for all the coffee mugs, which I realize it's the, it's the thought that counts. But I think one gift that I always thought was so neat is one of the girls, one of the moms brought all her teachers fresh bread from like a local bakery. I mean, who doesn't like that? I mean, any teacher would love that and take it home to their family or maybe like a special dessert that you make or something like that. So that's just something I wanted you to keep in mind is that they already get, you know, so many of those other things that you think of. I just took a picture of Chanel. She loves to sit in my office chair and you know I have that thing that I love that um, 
it's something to, like a cushion for me to sit on and um, she will sit right on that thing and she's like looking out the window because in this neighborhood I mean just if someone isn't walking a dog they're walking a baby they're walking they're jogging the other day this girl was rolling her brother down the road in like an office chair <laughs> so someone is always out there it's a busy little neighborhood and it's small yards so like they're just right there whereas our other house you know we had a big yard we were talking about teacher gifts so i was just trying to give you some ideas like brooke you know for her teachers we used to you know go pick them out mac lip glosses and you know even if like and brooke would say well she really wears you know pinks and stuff like that and then she'd have a teacher she doesn't wear much makeup so we might just get her like a really neutral or even a lip conditioner or something like that i find that people like it when not only when you cater to their you know um hobbies and you know what their talents and stuff like that but they like it when you give a personal gift like people like it when i give lip glosses makeup skin care hair care because they know i you know i know the good stuff that's what i would say about teachers now we 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 don't have waiters like we used to you know we used to have like our waiters that we saw every week and we would always give them like fifty dollars sometimes a hundred if it was a special one for christmas and then i always tip like my um, cleaning girls and i tip i always tip the trash guy i've already tipped him since we've been here because we always have extra trash and i appreciate it i believe in tipping i'm going to go down my list and i'm sure that will spawn other conversations but the first thing i have on here is something new and it's something that i have just loved john loves it too and it is totally a gadget and I was going to bring it up here, but it is so sensitive that I didn't want to like have soap everywhere. But it is that simple human soap dispenser that we have by the sink. And it is so sensitive that when I, like a lot of times in the mornings, I'll boil eggs for John and I for breakfast. And even the steam going up around it will, you know, make it shoot out some soap. So it's very sensitive and you have to get used to that. But once you do, it is so nice, especially like when you're cooking, you know, and your hands are just yuck, not to even have to press the thing or, and it looks nice and we get the refill, um, I get the lavender and you can either buy the things that come in it or it comes with something that you can refill. That's what I did last time is I just ordered the bag refills, but it's, it's just something kind of bougie it's pretty, it's very it's unique, and I think it would be a good gift. Okay, robes. And I'm not talking any robes. If I, like, to me, if you give someone a robe or a pair of socks or something, it needs to be something personal. It needs to be something like, you, like one of your favorites or something that, either something that's personal to you that you can tell them why you got it or something that's personal to them. Don't make it seem like just a robe that you grabbed at Costco or something like that, even though, I, I mean, I want everyone to know, I know it's the thought that counts, but I'm here to help you with uh, different little things like that. So the Barefoot Dream Robes, they are just so yummy, so cozy, and I have enjoyed them. I use them not only when I get up or when I'm going to bed, but I even use them over me like for an extra blanket when it's cold like it has been here. But if you want the most unique robe I've ever had, it's going to be those Mason Gray robes. And I know that they were sold out at one time. And what's unique about it, and I think about it every time I'm in my Barefoot Dreams robe, and I'm like doing something in the kitchen in those big sleeves and I have to push them up, but they won't stay up. The Mason Gray robes with those banded sleeves, oh, they just stay out of your way. They're not in your way when you're brushing your teeth, when you're cooking or anything. That is just such a unique thing. Now, I'm sure you can get ones with shorter sleeves, but I just love those. I love that they're kind of thin because then they are just... I, I don't care if John calls me a wizard or not. I love the black one with the white stars. I like my white one too, but I still love my black one the most. And I love the where the pockets are, 
like in the barefoot dreams robe the pocket is just like a patch pocket in the front and you know a lot of times i'm putting my phone in there because i'm getting up going somewhere and it's awkward but in the mason gray robes they're on the side and then i also love that the mason gray robe has that inside tie so that your robe stays closed i like it and i think it's a really cool different thing it's unique made in you know los angeles and i just really really enjoy mine and i feel like it's really pretty okay silk pajamas or silk scrunchie or silk pillowcase and i'm not talking satin but like really real silk i really love my lily silk things this is not even they don't even know i'm saying this but i'm just telling you i love my silk scrunchies there's a big fat one that i got that is perfect i don't even have to double it over it's perfect when i wear my hair up in a loose loose bun i mean i have to put it up like right before i'm going to sleep but that's how you don't break your hair you don't want a tight bun and i love my silk pillowcases i love the zipper on the end they're so much better than the slip pillowcases in my opinion my slip pillowcase wouldn't stay on and then it ended up ripping up so i really love my lily silk and I don't know if my code still works, but if it does, I'll put it below. The Colleen Rothschild skincare kits. I think that that is a marvelous gift. I think Colleen's skincare is very, very luxe. It is very, the packaging is very pretty, but not, I think it would be appealing to anyone. I think that it is very... What am, I, what am I trying to say here? It would just appeal to a lot of different people, a lot of different ages, a lot of different skincare concerns. And I know she's got a new discovery type kit coming out like soon. I'm supposed to get it and I'll show you as soon as I get it. And then she's always got good little sets. So I would say Colleen's skincare would be great. Her hair serum is one of my all time favorites. Like today, I didn't want to wash my hair again I don't like it when it's really flat and slick like this, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to go with it. So I tried to dress conservative. I do have an appointment today that's kind of conservative-y. And um, so I had to brush out my hair, which usually means if I hadn't had it blown out, it would have boofed up. Or like today when I brushed it out, it would have looked really stringy. But her... Just that shine serum is so good for your ends after you've brushed it out. It is just magic. I don't know what it does. It really smooths. That's what I would say. So I really like, I really like her hair stuff. Ugg Cosettes. Evidently there's a coquette. I like the ones, you guys know the ones I like with the band and the real, um, the real soul. I like the other ones that I got too, but I still like those because I can still wear those to go get a pedicure. They just slip on better and I think they're not quite as ugly looking as like the other ones are. I just really like those. They're true to size. Like I wear an eight and I'm an eight. So those are just good gifts. It's something that anyone would love. I mean, they're so comfortable. You can walk outside and take the dog out, go get the mail still wear them in the house they don't look bad they've got pretty colors and they're you know a hundred dollars so that's something that someone might not spend on themselves but they would love it if you got it for them in my amazon candle i am out of it and i've been trying to put off ordering another one until i burn some of the candles that i already have because i like them i have that good one from walmart that i love i have another good one i bought at like Bed Bath & Beyond. I was buying like the Christmas kind of um, gourmand scents, but I miss that candle. It is just, there's something about it and it might be a personal thing to me, but it has a, even though it says rosemary, it doesn't smell like rosemary. It smells like a spa. It is very invigorating and I just love how it makes me feel. It makes me feel invigorated, happy, clean, it's just a great candle. A crushed ice maker. I think of all the things John has ever given me, that is one of the, just probably the number one. Now, I'm not going to go, of course, I love my diamond and all that kind of stuff, but it is the most used, the most appreciated gift. It is absolutely fabulous. It is just that little 
pellet ice just like Chick-fil-A. And it sits on our counter. It's stainless steel. It's not ugly. We put the water, you have to fill up the water tank every so often, and we put the water out of our, you know, big water jug thing that we have in the corner. And, or you could buy water if you, if that was easier. I love it. Even with his, like, mixed drinks, he loves it. It's just amazing i love it every time like when we were showing the house or when someone comes in they always comment on the crushed ice sunglasses and i've told you this is something i repeat every year but i don't think i've ever given someone a pair of sunglasses where they weren't like shocked and just loved them i mean i think that's something that especially a good pair like like for men, I would suggest like Maui Gym, which is expensive, but you could do Oakley, Costa, Costa Del Mar. That's John's favorite. And if I can find his favorites, I will put them, I'll link them below. So with John, he has a pair of Maui Gym aviators that are like his dressy glasses. And, but he loves the Costas and so does my dad. So I will list my favorite ones, but what I was going to say is you can't go wrong with Ray-Ban. And they are always having good sales and so is Sunglass Hut. Matter of fact, you probably have a Sunglass Hut near you and that way they will give you a gift receipt and you can give a gift, you know, buy some sunglasses. And, you know, even if it's something that maybe they wouldn't have picked out, they may love it. And then, of course, my Privé Revo, are they Vivian or Victoria? I think they're Victoria. The best cheap glasses I have ever bought. They're polarized. They're less than $100. I wear them nonstop. They stay. They live in my car. And I love them because I can put my hair up with them. I wore them yesterday. The Big O Keychain. That's something I have given. That is a great teacher gift. It's perfect for a sister-in-law, a mother-in-law a sister and I think I've got a special one coming in the mail to me right now they said they sent it to me so I will show you that when it gets here but they're just I mean Brooke has one my mom has one I think it's just because they're so easy to find in your purse but they don't take up a lot of room they're perfect for uh, new moms that have that that carrier I when Will was small, that was when I was sewing. And I carted his butt around in that carrier because I every day I had to go get some type of thread, um, you know, some type of fabric, some type of material that I needed, or, you know, when I delivered bags or something like that. And he was a baby. And he still remembers that. It's so funny. Not in the carrier, but he remembers as he got older, me sewing all the time. And so that's perfect because it can go right on your arm. And then it's just, they're awesome. I've never known anybody not like them. The Barefoot Dream Socks. There is no, there is no other. So there's just something magical about Barefoot Dreams. And it's just the socks, they, the top of them are not too tight. They don't leave a line around your leg. They have that sponginess. They're warm, but not too warm. I mean, they're just the best and they're pretty. Like that light leopard or that dark leopard is just so pretty. I like them better than the Ugg socks. I like them better than the Nordstrom ones, even though I have on little ones now, but I think I slept in the, the um, Nordstrom ones last night, and I think I like those better than the Ugg socks. The Ugg ones are a little bit tight around my the top of the ankle. Okay, so that's anything Barefoot Dreams. I think a blanket, a sweater, anything. I know it's expensive, but it's special. And then just when you give it to them, tell them that it's special. Tell them this is Barefoot Dreams. Have you ever heard about it? You know, people like to know that you're giving them something special. The Laura Mercier Christmas kits and sets. I have some here. Let me go get them real quick. Hold on. I won't show you every single little thing, but they have like really good sets. Like this is the Caviar Quartet. And these, it's the, the best all natural um, rose gold. I think that's their best seller. Um, moonlight and magnetic pink but like even these little sets like this I'm gonna give these with my gifts 
the lip gloss set. Um, this is a palette. The eye and cheek essentials. I mean, all of these little things. This one has the translucent setting powder um, and with the glow and the brush duet. I mean, and tell them it's the best selling translucent powder. Have you ever tried it? Even though it seems like something so silly, like just some translucent powder, it might be something that they love. You know, they'll enjoy using it. Brush sets. This is, you would guess this, but I've got Dean, Sheila, Jenny, and Kat, and then I've got, oh, Sheila Hoops. Um, I don't have anything of Kat's on. I should have, Kat is, she has the really cool ring that's kind of geometric like that. I love it. One of my favorite rings. These are Dean's rings. I think people would love those. Sheila's earrings. Hoops. There's nothing better than hoops. And then this is a new chain that I got from Jenny Bird. Oh my gosh, I have enjoyed her jewelry so much. And, you know, it's something that everyone hasn't heard of. And you can say, oh, you know, my friend Lisa on YouTube loves this jewelry. I ordered it for you. You know, order some for yourself. I just, I would not tell you about the, these things if I did not feel very, very, very confident in you liking them and you being proud to give them as a gift. William Sonoma gift cards. Now, if you know someone needs this or that, I think William Sonoma is just, what a beautiful store. I mean, when I go in there, I don't even like to cook that much or I don't cook that much, but I enjoy going in there. Everything is so pretty, so nice. I think the people that work in there are just amazing. They act like they're happy to be there. They don't act beat down. They don't act rude or... I just, I get so disappointed when I go places and how you get treated sometimes. And I think, I mean, I don't know. I just think, is there an adult here t teaching these people how to act? But, you know, I know it's a new time. But when I go in there, like with the omelet pan, that girl helped me so much. I got my omelet pan. You know, she told me her favorite spatula. She was passionate about it, and, you know, I just, every time I've ever gone in there to get gifts or anything, they've been that way. Now, one year, my mom loves to cook, of course, and she cooks just amazing, and so I gave her a gift card, and that way she could have fun shopping for something, maybe buy something she wouldn't have spent the money on, you know, before, or put it with her money to buy something really big or something like that, so I think... William Sonoma is a great gift card. The last thing I wrote down, and I wrote this down a couple of days ago, is a phone case. And it might be because, you know, I did not have a phone case and I did crack my brand new phone. But my new one from Casetify is on the way. I don't know, it gave me like a broad, I think it was like a seven day span of when it would be here. And I'm anxious to get it. But I think phone cases, all you would have to do is find out what phone they have. And I just think that's something fun. That's something we don't all get. It would just be a nice little gift that everyone needs because obviously I found out that if you drop your phone, even that day it fell, I swear you guys, it was only like that far off the ground. But it fell just right on that corner and, you know, broke it right there. Can you tell I'm still not over it? I think phone cases are neat. And when I was on that Case to Fi website, they had so many. You could, you know, I don't know. If I were you, I would probably order like right now. And I would order one, you know, that comes quicker. I think mine was really popular. I think it was back ordered because of Emily in Paris. I think that's what got it so popular. But I just think that's a cool idea. And I think most people would like it. But that is my list. I'm sure I'll think of some more things. And as far as men go, I, I have even watched some gift ideas that like boyfriends and husbands have done on here. And it's just like, I just don't have that kind of men in my life. All of the men in my life are very masculine. You know, all of them love like beard stuff and stuff like that not john as much but my dad loves like a lot of times at christmas i will get him stuff for his beard and um my brother does dress for work and so he loves like 
remember last year, I think I told you about those Cole Haan shoes that he likes. And then I also told you about the front pocket wallet. That is something I was telling him the other day when I saw him that you guys liked that. And he pulled his right out. And then one of his favorite gifts that he has ever gotten, and I've told you guys this about, about this before, is the blower, the battery operated blower. So that you don't, you know, it's just light, easy. So when it comes to like man bags and just cologne or anything like that, I'm just not going to be good at that. I usually get my brother, I try to find like one or two gifts and I give him gift certificates to either Home Depot, Lowe's, or his favorite fishing store. Um, my dad, my dad is very precise. Like he will ask for a very precise gift. So, you know, it's different. So I hope that even if none of these ideas would work, maybe I spurred or sparked another idea in your head and maybe you will think of something good. If you have any great gift ideas, please, oops, please share those with us below. And I'll be right back for a very conservative outfit of the day. Okay, I've got Bubba here, Sassy over there, and Chanel in my chair. <laughs> Oh, mama's babies. Okay, I've got on the Levi's. Um, oh, they're not, I think they're just called Redone now. Just Redone jeans. I've got on some older boots that I like. And one of the main reasons I like these is because they're short. They're, they just, you know, you can see they just come up there. So they're easy to put on, take off, and they're easy to wear with jeans. And, um, a white top that I bought forever ago from Zara, nothing special. And then this is the Anina Bing blazer. And um, today, I don't know if you noticed, I need to, I wasn't, I thought about wearing my hair up, but I didn't, and um, I didn't do my hair, I mean, I didn't do my makeup to wear my hair back. I wouldn't have done my blush so strong, but anyway. Who cares? I, I hope you can see, I am testing out a new mascara and I will be doing a video on that soon. I'm actually doing a video on some new products with a very, very well-known brand. And I am gonna test out everything before I tell you about it because I just wanna see what I think. And so far, I am loving this mascara. It is amazing. And it's one of its biggest things is it curls it thickens but it also keeps them up and I think that it has that was the reason I didn't want to put on lashes because one I wanted you to see but two I want to be able to tell at the end of the day how this does yesterday I wore it and I loved it but I had on my like half lashes and I couldn't really tell if it stayed curled or not so today I will pay attention to that and then my nail polish is the Gucci. See, that's something right there. If you have a sister-in-law or a mother-in-law, if you got them a nice bottle of Chanel, that's definitely a gift I have given many times. Chanel nail polish or the Gucci nail polish. I mean, of course, $22 is expensive for a nail polish, but still, it's a luxe, cool gift that's pretty, and especially if you go to the Chanel counter, they will wrap it up. And it's just, I don't know. I think it's its about the moment. It's about the presentation. It's about the thought behind it. Like I have given so many people the Buxom Celeste or, you know, things like that have, that have always been my favorites. I will give those to people because I think I feel confident they'll like it. Okay, I've rambled enough. I hope you guys have a great day and I will probably see you Friday. Bye-bye.